Hey guys, this is Larry here. Uh, once again, trying to solve life's little mysteries and problems without having to pay a ton of money. Uh, today we're going to talk about a, night, or a 2017 Honda Civic. I bought this car about two months ago. Everything was fine, liked the car. Well, one day I got in and I drove it and I was getting every fault code that you can ding near get on the dash. I was getting adaptive cruise control problems, mitigation problems, transmission, transmission system problems, power steering problems, auto high beams, et cetera, et cetera. It just kept going crazy. And it has 8,000 miles on it. It's nearly brand new. I mean, literally two months old. So I started investigating. I called Honda and they told me that these vehicles have rodent problems because the wires are wrapped in soybean coating. Well, soybean obviously is attractive to rodents. They eat it, it's food. So I started digging around to try to find where the problems lay. And in this car, we have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of wires. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So this is where I'm gonna kind of show you where I found my problem. When your vehicle's warm, rodents typically like to come in and nestle in warm areas while they're cold. So what you want to do is immediately look, you know, in this area and see if there's any sort of rodent droppings, which I didn't have any. I had no signs of rodent at all. None. No droppings anywhere. So down here in that little vacant area, there's a pan that you have to pull off. It's a tray that you pull off for changing your oil. Once again, this car is super low. So I put it on a, a man lift. I mean a car lift and we picked it up. But that pan right there, I pulled out. And right in the front, underneath this plate, there's two plugs. And they go to your transmission. There was two of them, two wires that were completely chewed through. So I pulled the wires apart and sliced, spliced them, soldered them, heat shrinked them, taped them back up, plugged them back in and my car was able to drive again. It couldn't even drive. It was going 30 miles per hour, and it was tapping out of governor. It was like the transmission wasn't shifting. It was absolutely ludicrous. Now keep in mind, everybody's like, oh, well, it's under warranty, go get it fixed. Honda doesn't fix that. That's considered a rodent issue. They want nothing to do with it. It's up to $7,000 to change that wiring harness, which they would do. If I took that to Honda, they wouldn't have spliced my wires. They would have put a whole new wiring harness in it even though it was two small broken wires. It took me five minutes to fix. I'm gonna show you these wires on this video that I took. I'm giving you this video after the fix, but I'm gonna show you the wires with the small segment photographs that I took so you can see where they are. Now, keep in mind, they could have chewed any wire up. These wires might not be the same wires that got chewed on your vehicle, but if you look around with flashlights, uh, you know, underneath your car, you can see them. It's pretty obvious if you know where to look. It only took me about five minutes to find the chew after I put it on a, a lift. And after I fixed it, it still flashed all the codes. However, I was able to drive the car again. So I had to go to a, an auto shop and use their computer to reset all of the codes that it was throwing. So after I reset the codes and everything, vehicle's fine. It's back to the new quality that it was previous. But I do want to let you guys know, before you buy uh, newer vehicles, investigate to see if they did use soybean coated wires when they made the car. Because if they did, don't buy it. Everywhere you go, there's rodents everywhere. And this is a problem that will be for the life of the vehicle. Even after you fix it, it could be another day or two later, guess what? Rodents chew back into your wires, it's all over again. So. I'm immediately taking this down and dumping this car. Even though I just paid $28,000 for it two months ago, I'm getting it out. I will never buy another Honda. Uh, I think Toyota's doing it too. I know I've heard people on the internet that have had problems with <clears throat> a lot of vehicles that are doing this. I guess 2018 is when the fix comes out where they're not gonna use soybean wires anymore. But once again, I don't know. I'm not that into investigating what they're building their wires out of. But I am into letting people know in the world, watch out, understand what you're buying, because I'll never buy another Honda again. This is my fifth one. So I hope I can help you. And if you like this video or you found it helpful, please click like.